Hello, today we are going to create a login and sign up using uh, Angular 4 and Firebase. Here I am using Firebase as a backend and I am friend and I am using Angular 4. Let's see the requirements. Uh, we need an account with Google Firebase because Firebase is our backend. You can just get a trial account just by going to firebase.google.com. Firebase gives a lot of features like real time ba backend and easy authentication, a lot of features. So you can just start and try like on with this one. Just get familiarized with Firebase. Uh, then Angular CLI. It's a command interface tool just to create Angular application. Like um, uh, everyone is familiar with this. Next one, Angular for knowledge. Then use any IDE. I'm using WebStorm here, and you can use Visual Studio or any other text editor. We will be using WebStorm here. Now, what are we going to do? First, we're gonna create a Angular for project using Angular CLI. Uh, then we'll integrate Bootstrap and jQuery with the project. Then we'll make a login and sign up in HTML. Then we'll integrate with Firebase. At last, we'll implement login and sign up. I'm gonna create an Angular app using Angular CLI. So the command is ng new whatever the project name you want. I'm just using here login sign up demo. Just hit enter. Angular CLI might take some time. Yes, the project is successfully created. I'm opening my project in uh, WebStorm now. Now we're going to integrate Bootstrap and jQuery with our project. For that, install these modules npm install bootstrap minus minus save. Yeah, Bootstrap is installed. Now we'll install jQuery. npm install jQuery minus minus save. So we have installed Bootstrap and jQuery in our Angular project. You can just check the node modules and make sure it is there. Now we need to use those uh, modules in our project. Yeah, Bootstrap is there. I hope jQuery is also there. We will see how to integrate with this project. Not package.json. I go to Angular CLI JSON. Yeah, here it is. Just scroll down. And you can see a style here. The style.css, uh, this is the global style sheet of Angular project. In SRG folder, you can find that one. So, what are the styles you need to applicable in global state? You can type it here. Yeah, here it is. So after this global style sheet, we are going to use bootstrap style. Uh, now you need to type path to bootstrap. It is a node module inside bootstrap. So just type that path. Yeah, here is the full path. Now styles is integrated. Now you need to integrate jQuery. For that same, you just have to type path to a jQuery module. In jQuery, in this folder, that's a jQuery.js. Here's the full path. Now jQuery and Bootstrap is integrated with our project. Just type ng sir. 
NT live deployment server is running on 4200. Yes, our project is working. Now let's create some screens. I'm going to create a folder uh, so that everything will be organized. I'm moving to that folder cd src slash app slash screen now I'm going to create a component the uh, ngcc login screen login component is created now I'll create a sign up component ngcc sign up screen I'm using the CLI tool here that uh, so it will create the component, it will create all other associated file. Here we don't want this testing file dot spec dot ts, so we'll delete that one. I'm deleting testing file from sign up screen too. Now make sure like uh, whatever the component you created it is added to uh, app.module CLI tool will automatically add here but just make sure Now we are going to create some routes uh, We need something called slash login and slash sign up something like that So that it's easy to navigate I'll create a new module there a routing module Oh not spec app routing not module dot ts not spec it dot ts it's a typescript file I'll import ng module import ng module from angular code and import the routes from angular routing and we want something like router module 2 because this is a router module we are going to create this as a router modules now I am creating an array app routes and a type is route this is an array uh, here we are going to define all our routes I'm just going to complete this app routing module. I'm just pasting it so that I can save time and I'm going to export this class don't forget to import your app dot module in main module Now app routing module is added to app module. Now I'm going to define some parts. Then I'll create an object which says path and its component.
in the very main screen i'm showing the sign up component and then uh, slash login i'm going to see, show this login component Uh, save compile and run make sure you are importing that sign up screen and login screen component uh, my id is automatically importing it uh, if you are not using an id make sure you are always importing uh, whatever you are using here mm -hmm. we forgot to set up uh, router outlet just go to app component.html and uh, create a router outlet uh, since we are using bootstrap i'm going to use a bootstrap class container fluid so in app.component.html we have created our router outlet till some error is there just go to inspect and uh, go to console we'll see what it is okay invalid configuration of route slash i think uh, we just need to make it empty actually we don't need a slash there because we are going to show this in uh, main component like uh, when just uh, 4200 we need sign up screen there okay okay in 4200 home we are running sign up screen and slash login we are going to run a login screen too so that routing is completed Now let's create HTML template. We are using Bootstrap here, so you can use all the Bootstrap Bootstrap classes. Just create a form. I'm making this div uh, centered. Call a submit. Sign up with Firebase backend. Or just use sign up. You can just copy paste a form declaration from Bootstrap. A sample form you can just copy paste, you don't have to waste time. Yeah, I label it email. Now we'll create the password, email and password. Okay, we have created sign up, sign up, sign up, email and password. Now let's uh, add Angular components to this. We'll give an input ref, sign up form. It's an ng form. Now we'll add ng model to all this our input ng model and give a name email and same here ng model and give a name something password now let's go to typescript file sign up screen component.ts and now you need to import our form modules here ng form ng form you need to import here and uh, you have to make sure that uh, just go to app.module and you need to import form module here so don't forget that you need to import forms module in app module.ts Uh, 
uh, now we'll create a on submit we'll cre uh, create a method and we'll use the type as like we'll accept a form here type of ng form we are accepting a form type of ng form and now we can uh, get the parameter values form dot value dot whatever the name ng model name we have given the okay now you need to call this on submit while submitting this form so on ng on submit you need to call this on submit form on submit uh, you need to use the sign up form so while submitting we are going to call this method and we are going to append this form to so we haven't created a button just let's create a button use some bootstrap classes I'm going to make this form disabled when the form is not valid so sign up form dot valid if the form is not valid it is going to be disabled oh some error is there I think this yeah square bracket Yeah, now our form is created. Now why this color is different? I think we are using Bootstrap 4. This is not Bootstrap 3, it is Bootstrap 4. That's why the color difference. Okay, the form is created. Now let's copy with the same form to the login screen. I'm just changing the sign up to login and creating that form reference to sign up form. Uh, I'm changing to login form. Okay. Now we have created our sign up screen and login screen. I'm just going to add some navigation bar so that we can easily navigate between pages. I just go to bootstrap now bar and go to bootstrap uh, page and just copy paste a default navigation bar just paste a default navigation bar and edit it to uh, your routes first you create a sign up and give the router link to uh, home page that is our sign up and saying you just need to create a login link and uh, change our router link to login see now we can easily navigate in between them we have now bar login and sign up yeah now we are going to integrate firebase Let's install Firebase npm install Firebase minus minus save. I'm getting some error, I'm going to reinstall. And once you reinstall, 
go to app component.ts you need to import firebase here import import everything as firebase import star as firebase from firebase see that's not showing because of I'm, I'm, I'm having an error I'm going to rerun it okay now it's working fine we have imported firebase now you need to uh, like initiate that firebase app for that you need on it on it method that's why I'm mean just implementing on init here ng on it here we are going to initiate our firebase app so firebase and type initialize app yeah here it is here we need to pass our api key and uh, your url of your firebase app Yeah, for getting this app key, just go to console.firebase.google.com and I'm going to create a new project here. Just give some sample name. Okay, my project is created. Now go to go to this authentication tab and now sign in method tab. You need to enable this email or password here. By default, it is uh, disabled. You need to enable it. Okay. Then go to web setup. Here you will key. The, uh, you will see that API key or domain all the stuff we need to initialize Firebase. Just copy it and paste it on your app dot component uh, here in Firebase initialize block. Uh, we are using only authentication here so I'm going to remove all other things all other things are for uh, one is for database others for storage bucket and all those things we are not using it so we just need API key and our domain here now I'll create a service I'll name it auth service basically in this service we are going to call sign in and sign up method with firebase i'm going to import firebase here import star as firebase from firebase i'm going to inject this in other components so injectable Now I'm going to create a method called sign up. I'm going to accept two two parameters here. One is email and other is pass password. So sign up method is created. Inside this, I'm going to call Firebase dot auth dot. We can see something called create user with email and password, which accepts email and password. So this is the Firebase method to create an account. So I'm just going to pass email and password. I'm going to listening uh, listen here's in uh, errors in catch block. So I'm going to listen error. If some error appear, I'm going to log it. Some error happened. Okay. Yeah, our sign up method is ready. Since we are using just a, we are going to inject it, we need to declare in providers. So, auth service, uh, we need to declare it in providers. Don't forget to import this one. Uh, my ID is automatically importing, whatever I am typing auth service here, it's automatically importing auth service. Uh, you need to import it manually if it's not, if it's not importing. Yeah, mine is imported here. Okay. 
đúng I'm going to use this auth service in sign up screen so go to sign up screen component dot yes in constructor I'm going to initiate it I'm creating something auth service type of auth service which is our uh, created service and here also you need to import it now I'm going to call that method from auth service this dot auth service dot sign up and it uh, accepts two uh, two parameters email and password so I'm going to pass them see yes let's let's see them uh, we are hearing only errors actually so just go to users and see it's created or not yeah demo at demo dot com successfully created now uh, let's see like uh, what if some error happens yeah it's showing some error happened uh, let's print what is the error so instead of our uh, instead of we typing some error I'm going to print directly that complete error object. Here I'm only hearing catch block, that's why I'm only showing error. You can uh, like you can listen to that then block too, so it will give you a success block. Here you see auth weak password. Password should be at least six characters. This is the error message uh, returned by Firebase. Same like that if you are using a then block firebase will return you a success block too okay so that's all about sign up now let's create a login method in auth service i'm going to create a method called login and i'm going to pass the same email and password here here i'm going to call firebase sign in method so firebase dot auth and there's a method called sign in with email and password uh, which accepts email and password as parameters so I'm gonna pass them here I'm going to listen both uh, then block and catch block let's listen then block first I'm going to log what are the response they are giving in then block okay now we'll create a catch block Let's go to login screen component.ts. We are going to import our auth service here. I'm going to copy this on submit method from sign up screen to login screen. They are the same on submit. I'm submitting a form and I'm taking email and password. And here instead of sign up, I'm going to call login method from auth service. I think I have used the login there. Okay, login. I'm going to pass email and password. 
Yeah, that's it. Yes, this is a success method. Uh, instead of printing the whole success object, I'm going to print some characters here. Something like a success login or login success. I'm just changing this button name to sign in just to avoid confusion. Okay, now let's try logging in. So, this is how you make a sign in and uh, sign up with. Firebase and Angular 4. You can improve this app just by adding some GIF and all. Like uh, when create, like when clicking the button, you can load that GIF, and uh, after getting a response, you can stop that one. Something like that. So you can just uh, improve this app. So this is how we basically implement login and sign up with uh, Firebase and Angular 4.